I, you know, you know Big Zo, and you know Big Zo keeps it real. I'm all grown up now, and I listen and learn the true star, and I'm finally getting my turn. Took my L, hurt my spot. I'm a Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Big Zo 20 hitting y'all back. Um, first of all, I just want to give a shout out to all the people who gave me so much support on my last video about the Bad Girls Club episode 10 and everybody who just had so much positive things to say, so many positive feedback about what I, what I was going through for a particular stalker and anything like that and just giving me you know, encouraging me to keep going with the videos and the vids. Thank you guys so much and all of you know who you are. Thank you. Um, second of all, the title today, now getting into it, getting into what I gotta get into. The title is today, Whack Ass Movies That Shouldn't Even Be In The Movie Theater. Okay? Yes. Okay, I'm personally offended by this because it personally touches me. Because if I'm spending money, my money, to go to a movie, and you know the movies ain't cheap y'all, especially if you go to a nice one, it's like $10 a person. And don't even think about going to the concession stands, huh? That's why I, we have what? What do we have? What do we have? We be having um, the grocery store in our bags. Trust. That's how it works. Trust. You do that shit. Put a grocery store. Go to go to the um, Walmart and the Family Dollar. Buy them snacks. Buy them drinks. Put them in your bag. It's a wrap. You be sitting in the movie theaters busting out with a Whopper instead of a damn popcorn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is, it, it hits me personally because I'm spending my money to go see a movie. And when I'm spending my money to go see a movie, the movie better be fucking good. Okay? So, I saw three movies. Um, I saw Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. Let's get into that first. Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. I know y'all like, Big Club, why, gonna, why are you going to watch that? No. You know what? Growing up, I was just like any other kid. I was all into video games. Mortal Kombat, Mario, Street Fighter, um, Star Fox. Uh, damn, what was it? Shit. I mean, damn. I'm a video game person, period. Resident Evil. You know what I'm saying? Final Fantasy. Those are my shit. Hell, even just, three years, even just two years ago, I, I started playing Kingdom Hearts. So you know what I'm saying? That's me. You want to call me a geek for doing that? That's what I do. That's, you know, that's me. I'm always, a, I'm a real person. I love video games. Furthermore, when you turn books into movies, or video games into movies, period, or, or books into movies, video games into movies, comic books into movies, you have to follow a certain storyline to keep up with your fans, to keep up with the fans of the, of the merchandise or the franchise before. Now, when you don't do that shit, and you expect your hit movie to be a hit, what the fuck is wrong with you? When you do, okay, now I understand that, you know, movies don't have to go verbatim based off of the book, based off the video game, based off of the, but it's loosely based. Loosely based movies means you take some characters, you make your own, but when you take, why not follow the damn story of the original comic book? Why not follow the damn story of the original book? Why not follow the damn story of the original video game? Why do you take these characters and be like, okay, we're going to put this whole new twist on it. We're going to write this whole thing and do this and do that and do that and expect people to enjoy your shit. Now, Street Fighter Legend of Chun-Li. It was about Chun-Li's origins and how she got, if y'all know, Chun-Li was the original only female character of the Street Fighter franchise, period, until they introduced more people later on. And, you know, but the original Street Fighter, there was only one girl and that was Chun-Li. Um... She, um, it was about her origin and how she came to be and how she came to be such an experienced fighter, why she started to hate the main villain of all the Street Fighter games named Bison, all this stuff. Okay, so I was like, alright, then that might be worth watching because, you know, it was it horrible, good. it was bad. I, the action, the fighting scenes, because I'm a big stifler, I love, I love a good action and, and sci-fi flick. Action scenes sucked as... They all, they, they boosted her to be some type of super bitch and she wasn't even all day. And it was just stupid. I'm sorry. It gets two thumbs down and, and, uh, ugh. I wasted my movie on this shit, y'all. I want to find every person that was in that movie who acted bad and every person who came up with the concept of this movie and whoop they ass. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And the second movie I went to go see was, um, 
Medea's Medea goes to jail and I liked it. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. But come on now, you know I'm not hating on Tyler Perry. I love Tyler Perry to death. I feel like he's opened a lot of opportunities for people to expand, and he has a, a very, very success, a uh, very wonderful success story. But shit gets old. Shit gets old. What'd you say? What? Shit gets old. Okay? Like I said, no hate, no shade. That's not what I do. I just simply observe and give an opinion. And we've seen it before. If you see one Tyler Perry movie or one Tyler Perry play, you've seen them all. No, let me change that. Because the plays have... Even though they had the same theme, they had such an uh, authentic originality to them that I would suggest that you see every play that he's made because they are all funny in their own right. Except, I don't know, what, what's that one that really wasn't that funny? The, why Did I Get Married, the play, wasn't that funny to me. The movie was okay, but the play wasn't that funny to me. That's just me. But everything, all the other play, Meet the Browns, Medea's Family Reunion, Medea's Class Reunion, Medea Goes to Jail. Why did I do, um, I can do bad all by myself. Um, all the plays, what's done in the dark, those are all really good, original, authentic plays. Go see them. The movies, I feel like if you see one Tyler Perry movie, you've seen them all. I, I feel like you can. I feel like I, 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 I'm not excited when his movies come out. At first, when Medea, when Medea, not, um, Diamond Mad Black Woman came out, I was like, oh shit. That was like 2005, y'all remember. That was a while back. That, I was like, oh shit. And the, Tyler Perry made a movie, y'all. I gotta go see that shit. I gotta go see that shit. Now, it's like, oh, Medea goes to jail. Alright, I guess I'll see it. You know, and don't get me wrong, I love Medea goes to jail to play, but the, the movie, eh. I, I love you, Tyler. Just do something different, please. I'm asking you, please. I, I want to be predictable. I don't want to go in there predicting what's going to happen and then it happen. I don't want to go in there predicting what's happening in these people's relationships and then it happens. Good example. Uh, the Family That Prays, that shit was off the hook. The fo shit was off the hook. It was original to me. I didn't feel like... I felt like when I watched it, I felt like, oh, this is not typical Tyler Perry. Do more shit like that, please. Love the family that prays. But other stuff, his other stuff, no, 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 no. Anyway, on to another topic. I watched um, Friday the 13th this weekend, and I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed it. I felt like it was good. I really did feel like it was good, you know? It, was, it went back to the whole senseless slasher vibe or whatever and you know I just feel like that it, it, it did the um, the older movies justice I feel like it did all that stuff it, it was it was really predictable it was unpredictable I mean you know everybody was gonna fucking, fucking get massacred and they went back to its roots but I know it's a Jason movie why the fuck am I seeing titties out all the why am I seeing nipples and while I turn, I see some girl, ooh, yeah, come get me, come get me. I'm like, for real, for real, um, this bitch deserves to get slashed the fuck up. A, a, bunch of white, a bunch of white ass white people, no, no offense to my white viewers, but a bunch of dumb ass white people getting naked asses. They're horny and high and dumb asses cut the fuck up and I loved every minute of it. Now. There was a black person, and there was an Asian person. The Asian, the Asian dude was funny as hell. Black dude was funny. They still got their asses cut the fuck up, because hello, any ethnic people in a scary movie is going to get killed. But that's what happened. Um, it was good. I'd say go see it if you want your little kicks, see your little horror kicks, because I'm a horror movie fan to the heart. Just like I said, I'm, a, I'm an action fan and a sci-fi fan earlier. I'm a horror movie fan. Or if I didn't say it earlier, y'all yeah, know. I'm a horror movie fan to the heart, too. So, go see that. It was good. It was really good. I, I really give it two thumbs up for the, you know. So, you know, 
that was it. You know, I, I, I went, I went, it wasn't a particularly a good, it wasn't a good day at the movies where I'd be like, uh, like when I went to go see The Dark Knight back over the summer, I was talking about that shit for weeks. But when I went to go see these movies, it's just like, mm, you know, I wasn't really feeling good. And I wasn't feeling bad, but I wasn't feeling good. So, you know, go see them. Do what you do. Let me know if y'all seen the movies. Let me know how y'all feel. Let me know what y'all think about it. And um, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace, y'all.